Welcome everybody to today's video and for today's video I actually went over to Twitter to ask you guys to ask me some questions that you may have always wanted to ask me or questions that you may want to know regarding the videos that I make and I actually got a few questions so let's jump into those. Now before we jump into all of the questions of today's video I just want to ask you guys if you enjoy this video if you like it please leave a like share it with your friends and also subscribe it really does help the channel out a lot and I really do appreciate all of the likes, all of the subscribes, and all of the comments on all the videos. So let's jump into this one. Now before I get started with the questions that you guys asked me, let me maybe start off with questions that I do get asked a lot by you guys. And that is, are you actually South African? And how long have you been streaming for? Now, I made my first Twitch account back in January 2019. I streamed once or twice in February. And then I actually took a long break until August 2019, where I resumed my streaming on the 4th of August 2019. And since that day, I've kind of been streaming on until now. And for the second one is, am I South African? Yes, I am. I was born and raised here by two Afrikaans parents, one born in Namibia, one in South Africa. Lived here all my life, haven't moved anywhere. This is just an accent. It's nothing that I'm trying to force it's not something I'm trying to pretend to be it's the accent I have and if you don't like it I'm sorry but I it doesn't not make me South African now the first question is from Nala the Panda and that is where are my shares for your only fans um... and the next question is from daintiest leader who says do you need an SSD and a hard drive or can you just have one or the other and that is a good question. You don't actually need both. You can have either or. The reason most people say that you want an SSD is just for faster boot times and for faster loading times in applications and games. And the only reason people say have an SSD and a hard drive is because the price of SSDs are so high that to get mass storage on an SSD is gonna cost you so much money where you can just get a hard drive that is mass storage and store everything else, all of your files, all of your videos, all of your personal images, all on that. And you can even store all of your games that you don't play that often on a hard drive and you'll still have more than enough space on your SSD for your boot and a few of your most important programs. The next question is from Ivy Water and it is, what is your least favorite part of streaming? And I honestly have to say that my least favorite thing about streaming is all the, the trolls, the people who come into your chat trying to make you say things that you can't say or trying to make you do things that you can't do. And all the people who do fake donations, uh, follow bots, and just like view botting in general, I guess. So all of the trolls, all of the people who use bots and stuff like that, I think that is my least favorite part about streaming. The next question is from Paradigm Omega who asks, when purchasing new hardware, which is better between Intel and AMD, both for streaming and gameplay, and why? And are there any limitations to peripherals when using either of these architectures? Now, back in the day, I would say there were probably more limitations between using either Intel or AMD, but these days you don't really have limitations between either of those platforms, unless you actually go very specific. I think you might run into one or two problems, but for general use and general games, you should be fine with either Intel or AMD. And to kind of get back to the first question of which one is better, AMD or Intel. And Intel has always excelled at single core processing. So for games, Intel are still primarily the best when it comes to performance. But AMD is very good at multi-core processing. So if you have something like stream gaming and all of those things running on one single PC, which most people do if they have a single PC setup, AMD is going to be your best option as it does that really well. Now Intel did release the new 10th series chipset which is supposedly better at multitasking. So it's also something you might want to keep an eye on whether or not you want to actually step into the Intel field for streaming. But in general, AMD is just a better choice because AMD these days also are very good at gaming as well. So you do get more bang for your buck. And if you're a streamer, of course, the AMD is just a better system for you. Now, we'll leave a link down in the description below of actually what are the pros and the cons of AMD and Intel. So if you want to have more in-depth discussions or things on that, you can check that down below. Or if you have a question more on that, you can ask me down in the description as well. Or you can come and ask me on Twitch when I'm live. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Let's, let's jump into the next question. 
Now the next question is from Neo15RSA and the questions are, what got you started with streaming? What do you do to keep the vibe of your channel fresh? And what advice would you give to someone starting to stream? So I would say what got me started in streaming is my love of games and my love of actually hanging out and entertaining and interacting with people. Um, it's a good way to do all of those things on one platform. You get to do what you love and you get to share it with other people who are like-minded than you. Second part is how do you keep the vibe fresh on your channel? For me, I'm a variety streamer, so I do play different types of games. I do do different types of things. I've done just chatting streams. I've done Twitch things. I've done a whole variety of different types of games. And I think that for me kind of keeps the vibe fresh. I'm also used to innovating. I'm always used to doing different types of things on streams and I kind of change the stream up a little every now and then. So I think that helps keep the vibe fresh. Um, so if you can do that, otherwise, if you're one single game player, otherwise, if you're one of those people who play one game, try and not do the same thing over and over. To give you an example, in Minecraft, there's a thing that you can... To give you an example, in Minecraft, you can mine. I would say do not mine every single stream and do not just build every single stream. Try and do something else every stream to kind of keep the vibe fresh so it's not always the same thing when you start streaming that people be like, oh yeah, he's just gonna mine again today or he's just gonna build again today to kind of keep people entertained, kind of keep them guessing what you're gonna do next. And thirdly, what advice would I give to someone who's starting streaming? I definitely say do your research. This is not just about turning a PC on, streaming, playing your favorite game and that's it. There's a whole lot more to it. You have to actually put in a lot of time to actually grow and you have to do a lot of things that you wouldn't necessarily that you wouldn't necessarily think you would need to do to actually make money off of this as a job. So if this is something you really want to do, make sure that it is really a passion of yours, that you're not just doing this to get a quick rich scheme or if you're trying to do this to just get fame instantly, it's not going to happen. You're going to have to put in a lot of hours. You're going to have to do a lot of work and you're going to have to do it for free for a long time. So just make sure that you do not actually think that you can just start doing this and just play games. Make sure that this is something you really want to do. And then the last question is from Nathan, who asks, do you think South African Twitch community has the potential to compete with top streamers? And I think yes, I really do think we have some of the most talented streamers in the world we have here in South Africa. And I think it's mainly because we have a lot of passionate people. We have a lot of passion within us as a country. So I think a lot of people who are streaming and in the streaming community do have the potential to actually make it as a big Twitch streamer. I do think we limit ourselves a lot by not expanding on our content. I know a lot of streamers who don't actually make content on other platforms. They just go live every day. And I think if we actually put our minds to it, a lot of these content creators can actually compete with some of the top creators in the world. And that is it for today's little short little Q&A video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will be doing more of these if you guys do enjoy it. But definitely go over to my Twitter, leave me a follow so you can be part of the next one. Also, remember to leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment down below if you do want to see this and if you enjoyed this video and if you want me to actually make more of these types of videos where it's a little more personal and a little less scripted than usual. So I would really appreciate all of that. And also, if you guys want to hang out, chat more, I am live on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday and Friday afternoon. Link is down in the description below for that. So head over there, leave me a follow. Hope to see you guys there when I'm live. Until next time. Cheers.